Hello everybody, and we're back, back with more Inside Iron Studios, and uh, better late than never, right? And there's a lot of nostalgia today. Now we're starting with Thundercats Lionel vs. version 2.0. Uh, and I have to say guys, this version is way better than the first one they released. Um, I like this one a lot. Um, the, I, the, I, I used to have the first set of the Thundercat statue. I liked it, didn't love it, but um, this second version, the newest version, is very promising. I like the base. I like the action pose. There is no way that statue is going to be wobbly <laughs> like the first one. Uh, you can see a lot of texture on the belt, on the gauntlet. Um, on his skin, you know, a lot of veins, a lot of muscles, uh, pretty cool. The paint job too looks very nice, you know, um, I will probably get that one, looks awesome. That statue of course is a one-tenth scale, I think would look pretty cool if it was 1 6th, 1 5th scale, uh, I think it would be a hit. There you see more details of the base, broken floor, I like the texture of that as well. Reminds me of the Mortal Kombat base a little bit, you know, not complaining, I like it. And the mutants just came out, so I wonder if they are going to re-release every character um, from Thundercats. Uh, to me, Mumra is really good. I don't think they should touch that one. But with the main, with the good guys, I think it's a good call that they um, redo them. So good call. And if you're a Disney fan, Iron Studios got your back. We have two versions of the Little Mermaid statue. This first one you're looking at, it's the deluxe version. Uh, we'll take a better look in a little bit. And uh, I think it's a it's good timing because the new movie's out. It's doing good in the box office. I haven't seen it yet, but uh, I will. So you can see the base is full of details, a lot of Easter eggs. Uh, if you're a fan of the character, this is the statue you should get. Again, one tenth scale. Um, to me, that looks better than the ones, the Lion King ones. Um, but it still looks pretty good. That one is the standard version. Also pretty good, but no Easter eggs, no other characters. More nostalgia. So again, um, that is the second Skeletor that Iron Studios is releasing. Uh, the one, the first one, just came out here in the U.S. Is the Skeletor on Throne, uh, and I really like both versions, guys. I like both of them, and I like the classic look. Uh, like Twitter had, they did a reimagining of the of the character on their bust, and even though I like that, um, my heart <laughs> beats for for the classic look, man. Um, I really like it. A lot of details as well, just like with the Lion O statue. A lot of muscle, a lot of veins, a lot of, and also keeping the the, the cartoony the look you know you see his belt there with um, leathery texture um, it's more realistic take uh, keeping the the classic look at the same time which I like and I don't think there's a uh, there are switch out options there but I also don't think it needs any extra stuff you know, just the way it is, it's perfect. Um, 
And to tell you the truth, guys, um, most of the time, I don't even s swap parts uh, of the statues I, I have. I just leave them be. Yeah, I think I'm getting that one. <laughs> I think I'm getting that one. Looks Now, if you're a Marvel fan, you're going to get double the fun. Uh, with uh, Old Man Logan. That's a statue that um, I like a lot. You have Baby Hulk there. That one you have extra options. You have an extra head. The version with the hat. There you go. And both looks are classic. You know. If you haven't read the comics. The original one. Because I think now it became a series. But if you haven't read the, the first one. Um, oh you're. Just do it man. Because you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Uh, again, a lot of textures there. I see a little bit of the, of the seam of the head. But again, this is a prototype. Hopefully they change that for the final product. Um, again, muscles. Uh, a lot of details there. X-Men symbol there. And I like the museum pose. You know, you can put a lot of statues next to to each other when they're museum pose, so it helps if you have problems with space. Um, I like. I wonder if the claws are made of metal. And this, you know, the, the best for last, Mr. Sinister. Um, the fans have been asking Iron Studios to uh, to make that one for a long time. And it looks great. It looks great. I like the way his cape flows. I like the colors. Um, I like the face. Maybe that one needed like a, a second head. You know, but then you know the the version with the long hair probably wouldn't go with his costume. You know that the neck thing there. Um, logistically, it wouldn't make sense. But I like the pose. I like the paint job. I like the face. Uh, the colors again, just really good. And I I don't know how many characters the uh, Sentinel diorama. Um, has uh, I lost the count it's over 20 for sure hey guys so this is it for today um, if you like the video please like subscribe and share all right and leave a comment below which one which of these statues are going to get I probably will get more than one <laughs> all right guys so thank you for watching and see you next time